I, I'm getting your text, so I'm getting you to lay off on the text. <laughs> 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 Oh, you guys got two or three more comics. You guys ready for the next yeah. season? Yeah. Get ready, because here he is. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jonathan Barrow. I'm stopped at a red light, 
and I see a cyclist pull out next to me. Now, the cyclist, alone, <laughs> unprotected, <laughs> vulnerable, <laughs> he sees me in my two-ton fortress of steel, and he realizes the person controlling it has no idea what they're doing. <laughs> I've never seen anyone that scared. That guy, that guy thought he was going to die. If I had pointed a rifle at him, he would have gone, oh, thank God. Now maybe he'll miss. <laughs> so ever since then, uh, that's the moment I've realized how dangerous driving is for drivers and especially for pedestrians, right? So I've been profoundly afraid of crossing the street. <laughs> Not a joke, that is my greatest fear. <laughs> because every time you cross the street, right, you're taking your life into your hands. The only thing standing between you and that 18-wheeler is a red light and a little timer ticking down. If that timer hits zero and you're still in the intersection, you're as good as dead. It's a countdown to your death by severe cerebral trauma. <laughs> But then again, perhaps that's just it. Perhaps the timer inspires fear because it serves as a reminder that time is running out. <laughs>